For decades, Western engines, especially those from the US and Europe, have stood as the uncontested symbols of the global aviation industry. But times are changing, with massive resources poured into technological research and an unwavering determination to become an aviation powerhouse, China is not only closing the gap, but is also set on surpassing the Western giants, aiming to dominate the aircraft engine market in the near future. Why is China so confident that its engines can defeat Western ones? How will Chinese engines come to rule the industry? Let's find out. To protect their interests and curb China's development, Western countries may implement strict sanctions, including restricting the supply of key aviation components, especially aircraft engines. In fact, this has already begun. Recently, the U.S. government issued export control orders on goods shipped to China, including the Leap-1 sea engine, the engine model that has been used for the C919 aircraft until now. So, what will happen to China's commercial aircraft if they no longer have access to this crucial engine? If you have ever followed the technological progress of this country, you will know that it is full of intelligent people and highly capable technical experts. Facing this risk, Beijing has prepared in advance. The Chinese government has invested up to 5 billion US dollars in domestic aircraft engine research and development. By 2018, this country achieved a significant breakthrough by successfully developing two aircraft engines, the CJ-1000 and CJ-2000. This is seen as a major milestone in China's effort to achieve technological independence in aviation. So how do these Chinese-made aircraft engines actually perform. Although China has rapidly emerged as a major player in aviation, it still relies heavily on importing aircraft engines from the United States. Statistics show that each year, Beijing spends nearly 1 billion US dollars to purchase over 400 aircraft engines, about 80% of which come from the US. This dependency poses a significant vulnerability. If the US decides to halt engine supplies, the C919 China's pride in aviation would fail to be delivered on schedule. This could even force this country to pay huge compensation to other countries for delayed or canceled orders. Recognizing this threat early on, this country wasted no time and began developing domestic aircraft engines in 2009. The Chinese government invested a massive 30 billion US dollars into this ambitious research program, although starting later than other aviation powers. On October 9th, 2022, China successfully developed the CJ-1000 engine, a major breakthrough on the path toward technological independence. You might not know, this engine's turbine front temperature reaches 1950 Kelvin, an impressive figure comparable to the renowned XWB-97 engine produced by Britain's Rolls-Royce. But Beijing didn't stop there. It continued to intensify investments and research to achieve even more advanced technological leaps. By May 20th, 23, the CJ-2000 engine entered the technical verification phase with test flights planned for late 2024. The turbine front temperature of this new engine reaches 2,200 Kelvin, about 250 degrees Celsius, higher than the CJ-1000, and even surpasses Rolls-Royce's XWB-97. This milestone marks a remarkable achievement for China's aviation industry on the global stage. Is this enough for them to be compared with their Western rivals? Let's continue, but wait up. Thanks for sticking around until here. Please show your support by hitting like, sharing, and don't forget to subscribe to get notified about our super interesting videos. Thanks a lot. The CJ-1000 engine uses advanced turbine technology, ensuring a combination of high fuel efficiency and strong output power. When the C919 is equipped with the CJ-1000, its flight performance is expected to improve significantly. To put it into perspective, the Boeing 737 cruises at about Mach 0.745 and has a maximum speed of Mach 0.82. In contrast, China's C919 is expected to accelerate from Mach 0.82 to 0.84, then to 0.86 and possibly up to 0.9, marking a major advancement in the aircraft's performance. Moreover, the CJ-2000 engine inherits the fuel-saving and high-efficiency traits of the CJ-1000, while also being optimized for environmental performance by reducing noise and emissions. 
This means that compared to Airbus aircraft, China's C929 will offer passengers a quieter, smoother, and more comfortable flying experience. At the same time, the use of low-cost materials in the CJ2000 helps make the C929 more economical, with an estimated cost about 30 million RMB, lower than the comparable Airbus A350, even A320. All these factors show that this country is not only moving towards self-reliance in aircraft engine technology, but also gradually creating real competition in the global aviation market, a formidable challenge to Western industry giants. The race to develop aircraft engines is now not just about technology, but has become a fierce strategic battle on the global aerospace industry map. However, it's important to note that while the CJ2000 is proudly presented as a product of Chinese innovation, the initial stages of its development were not carried out by China alone. From as early as 2014, China and Russia had entered into a joint venture to co-develop the engine, combining their technical expertise and ambitions. Initially, the project showed promise, with expectations that this engine would be completed by 2025. But by 2021, progress had fallen far behind schedule. Only about 35% of the development had been completed, largely due to repeated delays and logistical issues on the Russian side. Faced with mounting pressure and growing frustration, China made a bold and decisive move. It severed ties with its Russian partner and took full control of the project, determined to see it through alone. This marked a critical turning point, the moment when China chose to rely entirely on its own capabilities to develop one of the most advanced jet engines in its history. Though this engine has now been successfully developed, mass production is not expected to begin anytime soon. According to the current roadmap, the CJ-1000, a slightly less advanced but fully indigenous engine, will enter mass production by 2028. Only after its real-world performance is thoroughly evaluated will this country decide on launching full-scale production of the CJ-2000, which is now tentatively scheduled for 2035. This cautious approach underscores both the technological complexity involved and the strategic weight that Beijing places on this project. However, challenges wait for no one. It will take many years before these engines are fully operational, but the West and the United States will not wait until then to start hindering the development of the Chinese aviation industry. But the obstacles don't stop at just engine development. In 2021, China officially introduced the C919, its first domestically produced narrow-body passenger jet, to the world stage. Western media met the launch with skepticism, questioning whether Beijing truly had the technological prowess and manufacturing maturity needed to compete with aviation giants like Airbus and Boeing. Many analysts raised concerns about their supply chain limitations and whether it could sustain serial production on a large scale. Yet in just over two years, the C919 silenced many of its critics. It secured over 1,000 orders, with six aircraft already delivered, not only to Chinese carriers, but also to international customers in developed and developing countries in Southeast Asia or Africa. In a surprising twist, even GE Capital Aviation Services, a major US based lessor, expressed interest, and placed 10C919 aircraft. Still, those familiar with China's industrial evolution know this success story comes with caveats. Historically, nearly every high-tech sector in this country, from semiconductors to electric vehicles, has faced significant international pushback and sanctions during its formative years. In recent years, major powers have imposed export bans on advanced lithography machines, critical to chip manufacturing, and introduced legislation in the electric vehicle sector to block Chinese firms and battery components from qualifying for subsidies. Given this pattern, the Chinese aircraft and its engines could very well become the next targets of export restrictions and geopolitical pressure. As the aircraft gains traction in global markets, the question is no longer whether China can build a competitive jet, but whether it can shield its aviation ambitions from the storm of sanctions and political roadblocks that may lie ahead. What do you think about these Chinese engines? Don't forget to like, share the video, and subscribe to our channel to stay updated with our latest content. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.